Okay, this is the Rebel Info 635, we're over to Zoner. Uh, this is Spiker. He's having some trouble with roaming because of the stupid mechanism. Okay, now he's sort of working. His mechanism allows him to turn is when he goes backwards, there's a rubber stopper that stops it and actually winds up starting to turn. But it doesn't always work, because it's so, it's a weird design that they did it. So here's my foot. It should be turning a lot quicker, so it's going to be starting to, it, Other times it only drives backwards, and it drives me crazy. It's working all right right now, the turning. It, it's usually a lot quicker and more snappy with the turns. Right now it's just not working. It is just not being a good robot right now. This is definitely one of their poor designs, 3v3s. Oh, now it's starting to get better. I don't know, it's, it's kind of like a 50-50 chance. Uh, and normally, it's t if you go on Arbiter's Honor, you'll see, it could just be because the battery's running low too, it's not running as powerful as it should be. If you go on Arbiter's Honor, you can check out my video I made of it, it's like one of my most recent videos. As you can see, it was just going backwards, and that's not what it's supposed to be doing. That's usually how it turns. It's usually really snappy like that. Maybe it's starting to work now. Maybe I won't have to worry about it. This isn't just a problem with mine. All the spikers have reported this problem. It's, it's really annoying, actually. It, a lot of people really hate spiker because of this. And you just saw it do it there. Now it's, I don't know... There we go. So it, it, it works 50-50 usually. Usually it turns, but sometimes it does a stupid backing up thing, and it's really annoying. Sometimes I have to help it out, but normally it can detect them really well, as you can see. It detects the objects just fine, it just can't turn around sometimes. Because this particular model isn't supposed to back up, it's just supposed to turn. It's, it has the ability to back up what it's not supposed to be, because it's only one motor that's actually running the whole mechanism. The thing that allows it to turn is just a little wheel on a really like loose kind of platform. And literally all it is is it's just like a little rubber stopper that occasionally works. Okay. This is definitely one of the coolest ones out there. This one definitely looks probably the coolest. This one or Reptar. Or Reptar, whatever. I personally think this one looks the coolest though. Gripper and, and Everstorm or EV3 Storm, they both look pretty cool. But this one looks the coolest. And this one, this one just looks the coolest when it's walking as well. It's not walking, it's on wheels. But it looks like it's walking. Which I really like about it. I'm going to work on a walking one maybe sometime when I get some better designs for these things. Um, I have built a walking one before, but it didn't work. Apparently walking in trees actually aren't that hard to build. Apparently the designs are somewhat simple. So yeah. I think I'll be making a review of the Lego Mindstorms EV3 on the Robo Info 635 soon. Oh yeah, I also built this little bug with it as well. A little transmitter bug. I'll try to get a focus shot of it. Just gonna make sure, yep, okay. There's where it looks like I'll focus. Right here it has problems. You can't see the wall when it's slanted like that. If for some reason this this model can't see it, uh, Everstorm could. Uh, I haven't tried. I actually haven't tried Gripper with the ultrasonic sensor yet. So that might be the next one I might look at doing. It's a possibility. I really like this one though. I like how he's got a low body profile, so he can see the objects a lot better. 
See, like, it, like I said, it works maybe 50% of the time he can turn around from the object. It's just the design that they made. It's not my fault. It's not my programming. There's nothing special to the programming in this thing. It's really one more that's allowing it to move forward or backwards. It's, do you want it to revolve forward or do you want it to revolve backwards? It's, it's not that hard to actually program this guy. It's, a lot, it's actually easier. Rather than having to make a circuit with two motors, it's just one. And then I made it repeat the little claw thing. So when it's, when it's done, it like it, it grabs. It's supposed to like simulate it talking, but it doesn't really work. It's a little late. I couldn't get to work at the uh, beep at the same time, so it's okay. I'll be making another roaming mode where it's going to be a little less sensitive. I was going to do that. But that's when I realized this guy's roaming actually isn't that loyal when it comes to backing up from the object. So I may actually keep it like this. This might actually be how I'm going to leave it. It definitely looks the coolest. <laughs> See, sometimes it doesn't want to turn. It really annoys me, too, because this thing took like three to four hours to build. Two to three hours, I think, is, yeah. Two to three hours is how long this thing took me to build. And yet, right away, it was working phenomenally. I was, like, really surprised with it. But now I've used it more, I don't know, it's just not working how it should be. The sensor is still working just fine, though, as you can see. So it's working all right. It's, it's, it's not too bad. Just as long as it turns, I think it's fine. And, and when I, I think when I charge with the battery, too. See, it looks like it's getting a little slower. I think it's starting to run low on batteries. I think that's what the case is here. Well, if, or, if or when I decide to make the review in this thing, I'll make sure that the batteries are either full or near to full. See, that's how it should turn all the time. That fast little revolve. That should, that should be how it should be turning all the time. See, like, I don't know. It, it seems like it's working pretty well right now. Seems pretty solid. Right there is the problem mine has. Stupid, it just will not turn. Right there. Oh, I'm tired of helping this thing out. It's like Robo Me. Robo Me is such a bad roamer. And this one's good roaming. It has the it has everything right for it, except for that stupid design. So what I may actually do is I might actually get rid of the claws in the front and make that like a little helper that actually turns it. That might actually might need, might need to be done. Turn. God dang it. Turn. Oh, this thing is so stressful to me. It's this this particular model looks the best. But doesn't perform the best. It's There's nothing I can do about it either. I don't know. Like I said, the programming is really simple in it, so So it shouldn't be having big problems like this. This is a simple build for the legs, and yet somehow it's getting errors. There we go. Good job. Thank you. Can you do it again? Yeah, turning. All right. Well, this has been the RoboInfo 635. And in case you didn't know, this is Orbiter's Honor. I'm still going to be staying with the RoboInfo as far as I know, unless they want to be butts and kick me out of this as well. Um, you know, so we'll see what happens. So, yeah, if, if I'm staying it, if I'm allowed to stay in it, um, I will be making a review of the Lego Mindstorm soon enough. Videos on the Rebel Info for me from Over of Honor are going to be a little more common now. Now they have more free time. So now I'm going to be able to work on both channels now. Over of Honor and Rebel Info. So yeah, stay tuned for those videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.